something's wrong. This is my worst cooking with age. I've got to add the mac. Nice Amazon. Lovely, take care, bye. Bye. While this bad boy is heating up, we're going to go over and... What are we doing? <laughs> In this video, we're going to be following a Popeye's recipe to make their signature chicken, cider mac and cheese and Cajun fries. We've now tried Popeye's in the US, in the UK. The only thing left to do is try it at home. Let's get cooking. In today's recipe, we're actually going to be using some Louisiana hot sauce Ooh. and also some of this Creole seasoning that we were sent. So what are we doing first then, Mrs H? So I'm not going to shout out all the ingredients. I'm going to point you to the recipe, which is a Joshua Weisman recipe that we found online. All the information and the ingredients are in the pinned comments, so if you want to follow along with us, go check that out. It with the herbs and spices. I think it was just spices, actually. And then the buttermilk. Wow. I'm going to let that sit and marinate. Three potatoes have been washed to make the Cajun fries. Then it says to put them in a bowl of hot water for 20 minutes. And I guess that's to remove all the starch. I'm not really sure. Let us know in the comments down below if you know what that technique's for. Water's boiled and now I'm going to add the macaroni. We've got the spices, we've got the flour. I'm going to mix this up. I'm like a little professional now, aren't I? Oh, the secret spices. According to the recipe, I now need to dredge aggressively. What constitutes aggressive? I don't know, shall I hit you and see? <laughs> yeah. The chicken is now coated. We're going to leave that on this wire rack for a few minutes whilst we get on with the Cajun fries. Deep fry time. I'll be putting two inches of oil in here because we will be frying a couple at a time. Oh, it's hard to see how deep it is. While this bad boy is heating up, we're going to go over to Mrs. H and do those fries. Okay, in here we've got some more spices for the fries, so I'm just going to mix that all around. I should have actually said the fries aren't from the Joshua Weisman recipe, they're a separate recipe. Okay. So again, if you want to follow the fries recipe, you need to follow that one in the descriptions down below. And if you do like videos that leave you hungry, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to keep up to date with every new video. Three tablespoons of olive oil going on the pan to grease it. Now the fries at Popeyes were really nice, weren't they? In the US and the UK. They might not be in Mrs. H's kitchen though. We'll see. I need to sprinkle a third. Bit more oil in here. So How much am I putting we're in? We're going for a tablespoon. So what I would do is try and drizzle it across. Oh, in here, yeah? Yeah. And then we need to sprinkle a bit more of this. Just making sure I get all that lovely seasoning on all of these fries. On for the pan. Oh, they do smell good though. Fries are going into the oven for five minutes covered with foil and then they will be uncovered from the foil and going for a further 15 to 20 minutes. The pasta's done, so I've turned that off. I'm just going to quickly check my oil before I drain that. It needs to get to 350. We're there. Oh. I'm just going to go with two so we don't overcrowd the pan. Three to five minutes until golden brown or the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Getting a slight bit of burn on these. It needs to be 165 inside. Something's wrong. Okay, so the fries are ready to come out of the oven. Oh, they do smell good already. They do look good. Even that one? Guys, let us know in the comments below if you've actually tried making this kind of recipe yourself. Let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. Back in the oven for another 15 to 20 minutes. Let's do this. I'm going to do the mac and cheese now. In with a third of a cup of flour. That smells good already. Milk. Heavy cream. Now to add the macaroni back in. This is the worst 
cooking with H experience I've had. I don't want to go into details. I think I'm traumatized. My watch even told me I needed to relax because my heart rate was up and I was stressed. Guys, show Mrs. H some love. I think she's overreacting. She started with the mac and cheese, which is probably where I want to start because I think that's mm. probably going to be the best bit. Nice. Nice. Mmm. Oh, she smiled, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to start with the mac and cheese as well. And me. taste the garlic, can not you? Mm, I actually think this is better than Popeyes. The mac and cheese that we had at Popeyes was quite synthetically tasting, wasn't it? In the UK. In the UK. We didn't, did we have it in the US? No. Right, I'm going to have some Cajun fries. They look a little bit darker in colour than I was wanting. Mmm. Tasty. They're a little bit sweet, aren't they? Mmm, that's probably the style of potato. Yeah, a nice little after kick. Okay, I like the fries. I'm happy with my fries. They're crunchy. They're not as good as Popeye fries but they taste nice, don't they? They taste really nice. I just think they're a different type of fry. I do like that seasoning. I would use that kind of seasoning again, I think, on the fries, because mm. I think they work. Someone's gone for a handful of chicken. We told her that when in barbecue, you didn't have to use your knife and fork, but I think she's just taken it to a whole new level. Right, the all important chicken. I'm too scared to bite no, it I'm into gonna it. Go, I'm gonna go for it. I reckon that looks quite good. I'm gonna cut mine. So yeah, there is a little bit more colour to it than the Popeyes. Here goes. Okay, I'm going to bite it. Got a nice little spicy kick to it. It's got a crunch. It is bim. Mm. I think it tastes good. There's no Popeyes though, is it? I think it's going to be incredibly hard to match the Popeyes recipe. However, that's really tasty. I'm really disappointed. I know I said that in Popeye's US. I'm really disappointed. I almost feel like I had a bit of a cheek giving Popeye's a five after trying to recreate it. I'd give my Popeye's chicken a three. No. The chicken's all right, but it's burnt. No, I wouldn't do that though. Sorry, I'm gonna have to give Baby H some Chick-fil-A sauce mm. because she does really like it. She after. loves dipping like a daddy. I love me some dipping. I think it's tasty, love. I'd give my mac and cheese, let me see. A seven. What would you give the mac and cheese? For me, the mac and cheese is really good. I'd give that an eight. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was better than the UK Popeyes. I think the fries are really good. It's got a lovely after kick. I'd give those fries a seven. I'd give them a six. And my chicken, I'd give a three. I'm going to have one more bite of chicken. That's really tender. Okay, I'm going to go seven. I think we're being really harsh. Guys, gang up on Mrs. H and tell her it looks good. And honestly, I promise you, it tastes good as well. Most American recipes I'd try making again, but this one I'm going to leave to the professionals. If you're hungry for more content like this, then don't forget to click that playlist. And all that leaves us to say is... Take care. God bless. And see you all in the next video.